Hello and welcome back to this playlist where we show you how to unleash the full power of Godot. At first we have new birdies in the family, so a special thanks to you out there. So in today's video we want to show you how to reduce the size of your exported game. For this we will use scons and the flexibility in the build system of Godot. For our verbs on Patreon we prepared a zip file. Inside you will find those extra nodes, which contain all arguments you can adjust in the build system of Godot. So here I already prepared an example for you. A simple 2D top-down shooter we found on Itch.io. Link in the description. This little project is a pretty good example because you already got some example resources, like textures and sounds. Also, the game doesn't contain 3D or complex UI elements, so we can optimize the bird out of it. Now, if you got a 2D game like this one, you can definitely save 50% or even more of the build size. For this we have three methods, zipped and extracted. The one on the left is the original exported game without any optimization. The right one is with optimized building and compressed resources. And the one in the middle additionally got UXP compression, but this doesn't work with embedded package building. So how do we do this? For the beginning we have to get the sources from GitHub and itch.io. Patreon parrots could simply download the extra nodes to get the links, but you can also just look it up at DuckDuckGo. First we need to download the source code of Godot. For this we open a new terminal and just clone any branch. And we also need the source code of the game, in this case Slime Shooter. Now we go into the Godot folder. And here we have a lot of possibilities to adjust the compiling process of the engine and the exported game. So here I prepare two commands which we execute now. The first one exports the engine with editor, which you need to build the game. And the second command builds the engine without graphic engine tools. So just one executable which loads package files to start Godot games. This is also called game template. You can also find these commands by using scunts minus minus help in the console. But in the notes, I group the arguments for you. I think the most interesting ones for game devs are the Godot scons exporting arguments. Here with arc, bits, platform and target, you can export to a specific platform. Then with tools, you choose if you want to build a game template or the actual engine to work with. You can optimize each one to speed or to size. If you use link time optimization, the building process will take a bit longer than usual, but the exported binary will come out smaller. So this is really useful for release builds. If you don't use 3D space or advanced user interfaces, you can also disable the 3D space and the advanced GUI nodes to reach smaller sizes. You can also customize some other stuff, but that doesn't have as much impact like the others. Furthermore, you can find a list of other libraries and modules in this other document. Here you really can spend some time on disabling stuff you don't need to reach smaller build sizes. If you don't know what a specific library does, just look it up on your browser. Since it's open source, you should always find some documentations. It is recommended to disable all unused libraries and modules if you want to get everything out of your game. But pay attention. With this you always cut some functionality out of the engine. So if you don't exactly know what you disable, your game or compiling process could crash unexpected. So now that I showed you the most important commands, it is time to build a minimal 2D engine and a fitting template. The configuration between the editor and template doesn't have to be the same. It is just recommended because that way you keep a clear overview over your features. So now we open the terminal and start building. As 
As soon as the process is done, we can jump right into the engine and start the Slime Shooter project. A Godot game always consists of two parts, which are the game template, so the brain of the engine, and the package file, which contains all resources you use in a project like sprites, sounds, scenes, and so on. And because of this, we have two starting points to begin with for the optimization of the build size. So now we start the first optimization. The goal here is to reduce the size of the package file. For this we need to keep all resources which are used in the project as tiny as possible. One good way to realize this would be the import compression of Godot. For this we look into our file system and navigate to the asset folder. And we begin with the sounds by selecting them. And over here in the import tab you can now see some options which you can adjust now. But pay attention, some of the settings may affect the quality of the file noticeably. So make sure that the original file has already been optimized. For now the interesting option is the compress, which we set on RAM IMA ADPCN. And we have to re-import the sounds to apply the new settings. You can do the same for all smaller PNG files. So we select all of them and in the import tab we disable detect 3D. Set the compression mode to lossy and since the PNGs got a pretty high resolution but only display pretty small elements, we can also set the lossy quality to 0.7 or less. By using this option the sprites can become a little bit blurry but the compression also reduces the package size. So we are finished and can re-import all PNG files. Here on the moon ground PNG I don't recommend the compression because it's not tiled and will display an ugly blurry effect in game. As you can see here. The background clearly becomes way more blurry. On the other hand with loss less compression the background is crystal clear. Okay. Now we optimized some of our resources, but I think the most compression is done by programs like GIMP, Blender, Audacity and similar. But this should be enough for us and we are now ready to export the game. So we add a new export template, in my case for Linux. And currently we are working in a custom build engine, so we also get asked for a custom export template. For this we jump right back to our Godot source code. And this is where the second part of the optimization happens. Now we need a release build without tools, but with all imaginable optimizations. So we copy paste these in the command shell and our game template will start building. When it's done, we go to the binary folder and, as you can see, we got two files. The engine with tools and the other one is the template without tools. But since the files just got freshly baked, there are a lot of debug informations inside of it. And now we can use strip to cut these information out of the binaries, to get even smaller sizes. For this, simply open the terminal and type in strip and your file name. In my case, this procedure ripped down the game template from mighty big 54 megabytes down to only 15 megabytes. Especially smaller games without many resources will profit from this procedure. Yeah. With this, our game template is ready and we can jump back again into the engine. Here in our Linux export options, we also have the possibility to compress our textures for other platforms. But for now, we leave this on default. And down here, we also see that we can add our custom template. So we click on this folder icon, navigate to our freshly built template and select it. 
Here you can see that the warnings disappeared and we can now export just the package file or export it together with an executable. So we click on export project and export it into our project folder. Now we jump back to our desktop to compare the new build file to the original files without any optimization. And here you can see in the properties of the files, the original one has 57 megabyte and our optimized version remains with 30 megabyte. So on 2D games like this one, which have a lot to optimize, you can easily almost save up to 50% of the size. And here we also got an optimized example with embedded package. But this is no real optimization, it simply sticks the executable and package together, so you have one simple file to share with your friends or birds. And in the properties of these files, you can also see that they are the same size. So. To now get everything out of the files, it could be useful to use an UPX compression in some cases. Be careful with that because it doesn't work for all processors and platforms. And typically after the UPX compression, a malware program will detect your game as a virus. So before you launch your game on Steam or the Epic Store, you need to signature your files from an official source. But this is something for another video. So now I will show you how the UPX compression works. For this we create a new folder on our desktop. Then we copy the UPX link from the source node. And in the new terminal we simply git clone the source files. If you downloaded the source files with git, you have the possibility to build the UPX tool on your own by using the make file system with the command make. But to save some time, you can also jump to this link. And here on the UPX release page, down here, you will find ready to use files to download. And then you simply copy paste them into your UPX folder. This UPX file already is the executable file we need for the compression. To use it, you copy the exported game files to the UPX folder and start a terminal inside. Now be careful. Package files will be ignored and deleted by the UPX compression, so you can only compress the executable game template. And this also doesn't work for embedded package builds. Trust me, I tried a lot of those variations. But now we can use our UPX with dot slash UPX and then our file name, in this case slime shooter small build, then dot x 8664. And by pressing enter, our file now gets compressed. After that, our file size shrinked from 50 megabyte to only 5 megabyte. But we also need our package files, so we are back to still small 20 megabyte. So that's it for the largest possible optimization for a Godot 2D game at this moment. If you would like to get even smaller, you would have to perfectly optimize all resources used in the game. So now, this was a lot of input for a small parrot. In conclusion, I will compare the files to each other and show you a last important optimization before you can publish your game for your birdies. For this I already prepared everything here. In the unoptimized version you have an unpacked size of 57 MB and zipped version with 15 MB. In the optimized embedded version, you have file size of 30 megabyte unpacked and 6.5 megabyte zipped. And with optimization and UPX compression, you got 20 megabytes unzipped and 5.6 megabyte zipped. So at the end, you could say that the UPX compression doesn't make a lot of sense if your game already is small and if you publish your game as a zip file, for example, on a chio. 
in comparison to the normal optimized file, you only save 10 megabytes in unzipped and 1 megabyte when zipped. But in zipped state, you can save up to 50% in comparison to the original file. And now a secret tip for all birdies who are still watching. If you got your files ready for publishing, you always have the possibility to choose the level of compression in your compress program. Here you can always choose the highest level, which causes the compression to take longer. But the downloaded file will be even smaller, so the download is way faster. So that's it for today's video. A big thank you to you out there who are always watching and cheering us up and supporting us with your kind words or donations. We also received some questions for the possibility to directly help through a PayPal donation account, so we made one. We are really grateful for your birdies and can't wait to grow an even bigger parrot family. I hope I could show you something new and that you now can build even greater games in the future. So as always, leave your questions, suggestions and comments below and I hope to see us in the next video. Bye!